Hi, my name is Julie. I'm here to teach you how to use the Volunteer Match website that supports the Lanel Vecinos Volunteer Program. What is the Lanel Vecinos Volunteer Program? It's a program that connects employee and retiree volunteers with local nonprofits needing assistance. Vecinos is Spanish for neighbors. As of March 2014, more than 3,000 Lanel employee and retirees are using the program to keep track of their volunteer hours. Let's get started. Some of you may ask, how do I sign up? All you need is access to the internet, an email address, and a computer, tablet, or smartphone. Go to lanl.volunteermatch.org. Once you're there, you'll see a big orange button directly in the center. If you haven't done so already, please register and put in your email address and create a password. You'll receive a confirmation email from Volunteer Match, and once you activate your account, you'll be able to come back to, to this home page and sign in using the orange button. So I've put my email and my password in, and I'm just going to hit login. Some of you may prefer to use your mobile phone, your smartphone, or your, even your iPad to track your hours on volunteermatch.org. This is really easy and no downloads are necessary. Your tablet or phone will automatically detect and display the app in any browser. If you're not already signed in, go ahead and sign in. To find opportunities, all you have to do is hit the Find Opportunities button, choose a search option. You can filter it by distance, cause, keywords, and more. A list of opportunities will come up. For more information on any of those opportunities, including a map, tap on any of the listings. Select Sign Up to express your interest in volunteering. To see your history and your activity, all you have to do is hit the Your Activities link. You can manage your listings, track your hours, change the answers to your questions, and remove yourself from any activity. To track your hours towards any activity you've signed up for, just tap on the listing. Fill out the appropriate information, the date, the hours, etc., and hit Submit. To add a new activity to your profile, just hit Add New and enter the appropriate information. When you're logged in, you're going to see three buttons, Track Hours, Groups, and Alerts. Over to the right here is a summary of your hours to date, and down here is a summary of your volunteering. Now I'd just like to mention one thing on your hours to date. Sometimes when you put in hours that you volunteered, they don't show up in this box right away, and that is because they need to be approved, and sometimes that takes a little bit of time. So just be patient, they will show up. Let's talk about adding new activities. Navigate to the blue button over here and click Add New Activity. You can search for an organization that you volunteered with. I'm going to search for Center for Contemporary Arts in Santa Fe. And um, you've got to choose the state and then hit Search. It pops right up. Now, just to show you what happens when you search for an organization and it doesn't come up, you can still track your hours. You have to go down here under, there's a title that says, didn't find the organization you volunteered with. You can still track your hours. Click here to add the organization and track your hours. So if you click on that, you'll enter the organization name, the opportunity name, the date you volunteered, and your hours. In this case, I'm going to back out and I'm going to click on Center for Contemporary Arts. It gives me a description. I'm going to add it to my dashboard by hitting Track Hours on the right, right here. It's going to ask you if you'd like to track hours for this organization. Just hit OK. Now, you've got to add an opportunity name. So, 
let's say gallery reader. The opportunity type is arts and culture. The date volunteered April 1st and one hour. And I'm going to hit save. It's going to be added to my dashboard automatically. You can see it right there. Let's talk about adding hours. All of your volunteer activity will show up on your dashboard. If I want to add more hours to dog walking that I've started at Española Valley Humane Society, for example, I can see my history right here. There's a plus sign right here. Click on that and it will show my history. If I need to edit any of this, I'll click the pencil and I can change the number of hours, I can change the date, I can delete the hours. Once I have it to my liking, I will just hit save and you'll go back to your dashboard. If I want to add a new subset of hours to this activity, all I have to do is click this clock icon right here, track hours. Date volunteered, Tuesday, for one hour and I will hit save. Now you'll see that your dashboard is automatically updated. You also have the option to set up a recurring schedule. I'm looking at the first one here, Windsor Trail Reroute Workdays. The first icon you see on this line is the one that we just went over, how to enter normal hours. The third one on the right is the recurring schedule button. Now if I want to do two hours every month. All I have to do is fill this out like so. Make sure you select the weeks in the month and the day of the week. Otherwise it will ask you to go back and fill those in. Select your start date and it either on a specific date or a number of occurrences and hit save. And that's all there is to that. A lot of you have asked us how often should you add your hours? Do you have to do it every day? It seems cumbersome. Ideally, you should try to log your hours as you perform them, but this can be time consuming, so it's perfectly fine to batch your hours into blocks of time. For example, if you volunteer 20 hours a month spanning several days, you could select a couple of days within that month and enter 10 hours each day. 10 hours on March 15th and 10 hours on March 26th, for example. Some of you have also asked us if you can register a nonprofit opportunity. The answer is yes. If you are a nonprofit organization, government entity, or educational institution, you can register using volunteermatch.org to get the word out about what you do in the community. And there's no charge for this. Just go to volunteermatch.org slash nonprofits, click on register now, create your profile, add your organization and the opportunities you have available. Once you've verified your email address, Volunteer Match will review and approve your account, and then you can begin recruiting. Some of you have also asked us if you'll be recruited. There's only two instances under which a nonprofit organization will contact you through Volunteer Match. You indicate that you want to volunteer for an organization by hitting the I want to help button on a particular organization's information page or you post a volunteer resume that indicates your wish to be recruited as a volunteer. Lanol subcontractors and family members are not eligible to receive recognition awards, but they're welcome to track their hours alongside Lanol employees and retirees. If you have any questions on how to use this, please visit lanol.volunteermatch.org, scroll down to Quick Links, and hit Frequently Asked Questions. There's also contact information down there for Debbie Wersonic. She's in the Community Programs Office, and you can reach her at volunteermatch at lanl.gov. Thanks, and happy volunteering.